Today, I wanted to demonstrate how can we connect our CRM to plugin registration tool and demonstrate how plugin works. So I have created an entity SSC mark list, uh, which will be taking these all marks, uh, these all marks, and uh, by taking these marks, uh, this total secured marks, uh, these four uh, fields will be calculated. So I have written a code for this. These are the code, uh, these, this is the code where it takes the uh, details which we enter there and we'll be calculating so total secured marks and uh, yeah, all these details will be calculating. Now, once you have written the code, you just need to build it. So you can just do it by clicking build. And yeah, once I have already built it. That is why I'm not getting, but once you build, you'll get like one succeeded. If you have any, any issues, that will be failed. So once you have built the, uh, build the solution, now we need to go to our XRM toolbox. Under tools, search for plugin registration tool. This is a plugin registration tool. If you don't have this, you can you can go to your tool manage. Uh, you can go to your tool library and then select the plugin registration tool. If you you can search here for plugin registration tool. When you click on this, if if it is not installed, it will ask. You can install it by clicking on this button. So I have already installed it. I was not getting this button. So once you install it, go back to your tools. Click on this plugin registration tools. Before that, you need to connect your organization with the trial instance. This is my trial instance. You can just click on this and add the connect button. You can click on connect. This will help you to connect uh, it to your organization. Once you open this plugin registration tool, uh, first step you need to uh, you need to add an uh, you need to add an uh, assembly. So I'll just click on at least a new assembly. In this, you need to select the DLL of this uh, this plugin plugin demo. Once you execute and build, you one DLL file will be. Execute one the one you'll get a one DLL file. You need to download the DLL file and put it here. Let me do that. Yeah, this is the plugin demo DLL. I'll be selecting it and open. You when you extend it, you need to get the uh, uh, function which you added. So this is my function, and yeah, this is all auto selected. You just click on select this button. Now you see one assembly registered. So your assembly got registered successfully. Now click on OK. Now you can see your plugin assembly somewhere down here. Yeah. If you see, this was the assembly. So now your assembly got, uh, got uh, created. Now your next step is to add a step. Here, step is basically uh, some update operation, CRUD operation. So here, what I'm doing is, um, what I'm doing is as soon as I enter these details, like let me enter these details, I'll be giving some random marks. So as soon as I give these marks, this uh, data should be should be created and then you should be inserted into the data into the database this is what i was expecting so now going back to this 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 is a create operation so i'll be creating uh, i'll be creating this plugin on create operation just to create what what is my primary entity it is a student entity ssc mark list i don't have any secondary entities no filtering attributes and this is i wanted to run it on the call, calling user and this here you if you'll be having three stages of pipeline this is pre-operation pre-validation pre-operation post-operation pre-validation is generally used if you wanted to validate some data before going to database then we'll be doing this pre-operation is uh, if you wanted to create a if you wanted to do some operations before before going that into a database then we'll be doing pre-operation post-operation is generally done uh once your data enters enters into a database then you wanted to do do some operations we uh, even then we uh, registered that plugin in the pre-operation in this stage since i wanted my data to be uh to be clear uh, to be fetched and then inserted into the database i'll be selecting pre-operation i wanted here my security secured market everything should be auto populated and it should be entering into the database so i wanted this to do under pre-operation so coming to execution modes we have two modes one is the synchronous mode and other is the asynchronous mode asynchronous mode is generally done if you have some if you wanted to perform some action in the background then we, we then we choose asynchronous asynchronous if you wanted to perform the action action then and then we'll be using synchronous so i have configured the step and i'll be clicking on register new step Okay, uh, yeah, this ignore for it now. Yeah. Okay, now you have created your assembly, your step is done. Now everything is done from the plugin execution site, plugin, uh, plugin registration. Now you just need to go, go back to your CRM instance and try to perform the action. Let me perform my action. I have created one test instance and given all the data. And let me click on save. 
see now every data is will it, it will be calculating all the data all the sum and will be giving total secured marks and percentage will be allotted yeah like this you can you can create a plugin under pre operation phase in the similar way if you wanted to execute some events after entering into a database then you can be doing it in the post operation i hope uh, it's clear how we use the plugin decision tool for now thank you